Hi guys. It's Sunday. I have not vlogged since I've been back. It's even 8, 12 on Sunday morning and I've only been up uh, half an hour. <laughs> Very weird. But I already have my die cutting machine in front of me. Um, oh my gosh. It is always hard for me to get back on track when I've been gone. And I definitely struggled <laughs> to get back on track. Um, I have a lovely um, <clears throat> happy mailbox that um, I didn't get to the mailbox and get immediately as soon as I got back. But um, I'm excited. I did open and peek in, but I haven't looked at everything. Um, so... I'm going to do a video on that. Funny story. So while I was gone to my mom's, um, I'll tell you the funny story and then I'll tell you the emotional story. So the funny story is while I was gone, I told my mom, because it was my birthday weekend, you guys know that. And I said, uh, oh man, I really, because she gave me birthday money and my mother is very generous very generous and um, I had told her I had got that boiling hot water pot because yeah anyway I told her I said well you got me that for my birthday and she's like how much did that cost and I was like $30 and she's like I didn't get you that for your birthday I was like mom if I want to get a lot of smaller things with what you gave me, then can I do that? She's like, oh, okay, yeah, you can do that. But anyway, I told her I needed a new Christmas coffee mug. That I, not coffee, but tea. And um, she goes, okay. So when we were out, we went and did a little bit of shopping because my mom's not, you know, really up to like just full on shopping. So we went out and we were, I don't know, we were at Ross or something like that. And she sees coffee mugs, or, well, she sees mugs. And she goes, how about this one? And I was like, no, that one's too small. She goes, how about this one? I said, oh, that one looks really heavy. She's like, how about this one? It has your initial on it, an M. I was like, no. I'm just going to have to wait for the perfect one to come along. And she's like, okay, but when it comes along, don't dilly-dally get it. So the other day, I was at Joann's shopping for bandana fabric and a few other things. I looked for, I looked for some scrapbooking paper, but um, I asked the lady, I was like, I'm not finding any scrapbooking paper. She's like, oh, we have a whole of it you know those single sheets and I was like no like booklets like 12 by 12 and she was like oh no we don't have any of that and I was like so I did get a few things um <clears throat> that day but this was the find of the day right if that doesn't have my name written all over it I don't know what does So I love that. And it is a little bit heavy because, and you guys haven't seen me in a while. Well, I haven't talked about stuff in a while, but um, my pain level on my hands has been extremely, extremely bad when I'm grooming. When I'm just like right now, it's just... Like, I can feel it, but it's not bothersome. Hey, hey, stop it. Yeah. Mm. Um, I can feel it, but it's not too bothersome. So, um, that's good. But when I'm grooming, it's, the pain level is a 10. It's a 10. And I told 
you know, all my my employees know because they see me struggling. And um, Amy goes, well, I have some, I think it's CBD patches. It's the type of um, uh, stuff that um, it's for pain only. It's not to get you high or anything. It's strictly for pain. And um, she brought me, um, she brought me that and it helped a lot. I needed to get through Friday and Saturday uh, because I have a doctor's appointment to get a cortisone shot on Monday. Praise God. So, um, that's another one of the reasons why I didn't really vlog or anything because even when I would, um, you know, get done grooming and, you know, certainly the patch had helped and so forth. Um, it, <coughs> what are you eating? Oh, good. Um, it just, it drained me. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that. That's another thing, because this is a little bit heavy. It's, it's, you know, kind of thicker and stuff. Um, it does kind of hurt to lift it. But, anyway, I'm finishing up some cards that I managed to, I managed to color, uh, I don't know, 15 images while I was gone. And, um, so I did that. And I was able to make some cards. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm like all over. It's like, um, I used to just be, da, 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 and tell you everything I wanted to tell you. And um, now I feel like, come on, Rena, spit it out. But it's probably because I'm trying to do die cutting and talk. Because Rena can't do that. She has to just talk. <laughs> But anyway, so the word is that Shane will be back next Friday, and he has decided to sell his pickup truck. I was like, oh gosh, heavens, why, Shane? You, it's, you know, it's not even a year old. And he's like, well, <laughs> don't fall out of your chairs, ladies, but he said, um, I'd rather keep that $980 in my pocket. And my little brain went, <laughs> because there's insurance on top of that. So, and you know, he's a young man, so it's probably not cheap insurance. Um, so my head kind of exploded, but I was like, well, you know, I told him if you learned from this experience at least something good came of it and you learned an expensive but valuable lesson and um because i told him you don't need uh, you don't need a vehicle you drive a truck for a living you need a little you don't even need a beater car because we have an extra car that you can drive when you come Ugh. frustrating but you know our kids never listen to us they have to do it how they want to do it and then they have to find out their own way and um, it's sad but it, that's the way of the world I guess so I'm probably gonna hush now and um, get some of this stuff done and come back and talk to you later because there are lots lots of stories to tell um, about my trip and I had a super, super nice visit, not only with my mom, but with my sister and my niece and my cousin. Um, it was just, it was just a beautiful trip. Um, not, <laughs> not too rushed at all. It was just perfect. So looking forward to going back and taking my husband with me. And yeah, I think this is my new tradition is both Thanksgiving and Christmas with my mom. Bye. Talk to you later. I'm 48. 
Um, so honey has been working on the building. He keeps wanting to call it a shed. I keep telling him it's not a shed. It's the workshop. Um, but both of us still periodically call it the shed. I just don't like the shed because the shed makes it sound like it's just for junk. And it's not just for junk. But anyway, it turned out, I mean, look at, look how it looks out there. And they said it was going to snow all weekend, Sunday and Monday. Well, I guess Monday's not really the weekend, but it is for me because I'm off. Um, sort of, but I have to go to the doctor. <clears throat> um, so anyway, he has been bugging me since I got home to go out and looked at it because he's done a lot of stuff to it. <laughs> I told him, I was like, um, you put up insulation. I don't need to go look at the insulation. So he went out there and he took pictures of the insulation. So I'm going to go out and do a video today out there and show you guys the progress so that you can see what's been going on and that he will be happy. <laughs> so... Anyway, I have a lot of crafting to do. I told him last night um, I'm just going to be like doing my household chores, like in between crafting, but mostly crafting. And I already got laundry going. Kitchen's all cleaned up from last night and ready to dirty again. <laughs> um, <coughs> so that's good. There's no Dallas Cowboys today because... I think they played Thursday and Sunday or something like that. So they're off this week. And he was like, I'm so glad because that gives me, you know, like I don't have to pay attention to the game instead of working in the building. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting more excited. I did order some, um, some things on... Black Friday, not Black Friday. Did I order some? Yeah, I guess I did order some things on Black Friday. Um, as I said, my mom was really um, generous, so I, I, I did order some things for the building. I didn't really, I ordered myself a toaster because <laughs> the toaster died last week. So I did order myself a toaster. But the other stuff is all for the business and the building. I ordered a television for the building so that when it is football season he can be out there uh, working on furniture or whatever it is we're working on and still get to watch his football so he was real pleased about that and it's a nice tv guy for like 135 dollars on black friday so perfect and then i ordered a laptop for out there because it is not going to be um temperature controlled when we're not working in it so i ordered a really nice like kind of fireplacey looking space heater for out there and we're just going to heat it when we're out there um he really wants to regulate it because until it's regulated we can't store the paint in there but that may come down the line um it it, it just may become necessary but for now that's what we're thinking um you know, I had asked him a while back, I said, like way while back, <laughs> I said, do you think we'll be up and running by the 1st of December? And he's like, oh yeah, I don't see any reason why not. Well, today's the 2nd of December and it's not looking like we're going to be up and running um, before, you know, the end of December. And I'm getting a little nervous. I called the lawyer yesterday. I didn't expect him to answer. I thought I was going to leave a message, but I was like, he answered. And I was like, oh, goodness, I didn't expect you to answer. I thought I'd leave a message. He was like, well, who is this and what can I do for you? So I told him who it was and that, um, you know, I had sent all the information for a new business. And I just wondered how that was coming along. And he was like, I will look into that when I get in on um on monday and get back with you but we have that is something that has to be done before the end of the year there's no other options that has to be done 
So, um, in order for, you know, us to use it as a business wipe off. Um, I don't know if we actually have to sell anything. If we do, and I'm going to find that out when I talk to him tomorrow. If I do find out, um, the only thing we're going to be able to get done before the end of the year is probably a few smalls. So, if any of you wants to be our first buyers for our smalls and we can get it off to you and um, in the mail, that would be really cool. But anyway, no pressure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, oh, I'm going to tell you this later after I get dressed and everything. I'll tell you later. Okay, bye. Letting the dogs out. And I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> I told you, dogs. I'm going out to the workshop. Look what I got for my truck. I got a bow. It is friggy diggy freezing out here. It looks bright and sunny, and it is, but whew, it is cold. Uh, what is that for? Yeah. Let me in, let me in by the hair of your chinny chin chin. Hey. Hi. Can't to show everybody what's going on. Oh, it's warm in here. <laughs> nice. This is what my man's been doing for weeks. But it's warm in here. Way different than last time when I came out here and the heater was on. Yeah. It's like heavy blanket on the walls. He's got this side of it done. Now, now he's doing... Moving on to taking care of the lighting part of things and this wiring. Now insulate this. Will you insulate the door? Yeah, but I'm going to use the phone. We will see you Monday morning. So oh. Have a good weekend. You know, the one inch Monday phone. Okay. Back, How come? Because I can't use that kind of stuff on it. And, to... and then what do you cover it with? Um, real, real, real thin. It's rare. Uh, oh, okay. I can't believe how warm it is in here. I mean, it's not like hot, but it's nice. Okay, how many rolls do you think we'll have left for the other building? And do you know how many rolls it took to do this building? 15? <laughs> that was a guess, right? You're a bad guesser. I don't know. We'd have to look at the receipts. <laughs> yeah, but we already had some to begin with. Hey, these are things you're going to have to start. We got lots of electrical. All right. So then he's going to what? Oh, probably, yeah. Probably be in trouble already with friggin' whatever they call that. YouTube. Uh, no, uh, it's some copyright kind of strike, right. copyright strike. Yeah. Um, so what's next? The plastic? You're gonna put plastic? No. What's next is I'm gonna get all the electrical taken care of. Um, so we have our outdoor lights. We've got our welcome entry light over on this side. This over here is going to be for the outdoor paint booth. Nobody's welcome out here. Nobody's allowed here but me and you. Okay. No welcome signs. No welcome nothing. Keep your paws off our stuff. And I'm going to insulate this, and once that's insulated, then I'm going to clean up everything, get a good vacuum, and um, start dropping plastic. Tell them about plastic, because I didn't really understand plastic. Why would you put up, do they do that in a house? Um, it, they do, um, and we probably wouldn't need to, but what I'm trying to do, because it is ultimately a shed <laughs> that we're converting into a nice workspace. I want to put 
plastic over the insulation because if there's any kind of air drafts whatsoever I want it to be trapped on that side of the wall and not entering into our workspace so awesome. it'll actually keep it a lot warmer than it is right now okay okay so then and you're gonna if you think you're gonna get that done today right it's my goal <laughs> Okay, so once that's done, once the plastic's up, what what's the next step, like Tuesday? To tarp Maggie? No, I'm talking about the building. Oh, the building? Then... Tarping Maggie isn't going to take forever. It's going to take a couple hours. But, um, no, once we're plastic, once I know that we have no issues with electrical, um, then the plastic will go up, and then we start putting the walls up. And then once the, the roof and the walls are in, which I've got to do a lot of cutting around outlets and around windows and around vents, and so everything fits up there nice and snug, then I will silicone around the seams, let it dry, then I will come in here with a sprayer and I will paint. And then once the paint is done, then I will do the floor. Okay. Where are these? Those are outlets. Like plugs? Yeah. In the ceiling? For the lights, for the LED lights. Oh. So they're all switched. So you flip the main switch and it's going to activate the ceiling outlets, which are going to kick on the LED lights. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. You're really good at that. See, you're terrible with <laughs> how many whatevers it took, but you are really good at planning. That kind of stuff. And I'm telling you guys. We're going to make a good team. Mm -hmm. We already do. <laughs> except. <laughs> There's always the but or the except. Well, people, we're, we're normal. We, we do have disagreements. Um, okay, well, I just wanted to show them your handiwork. And what you've been doing. I haven't seen you in several hours and... And the only thing the plastic is draped down here for is because when I'm done out here, I just staple it up. Why? Um, because I often forget to turn off the electrical out here, and I don't want the light beaming out there. You forget to turn the electrical off? I do. It's that human part of me. No, it's that <laughs> garage guy who never wants to turn the garage light off. Oh, my God. So rather than just turn it off, you cover this in case you don't turn it off. Right. Oh, my God, people. you got to tell me what you think of that. <laughs> He'll go to the trouble of covering this up in case he forgets to turn the lights off. Oh, my God, honey. All right, I'm going back in now. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what time is it? I don't know. It's like 6 o'clock. It's totally black outside. It's supposed to snow tonight. <laughs> I've been crafting most of the day. I did some chores. I took a shower, washed my hair. I didn't flat iron it, but I don't feel like I got anything done. I did a whole lot of stuff like this and like this and like this and this and some others. But I still don't feel like I got anything done. But I just wanted to come and say I will really, really, really try to vlog some more tomorrow. I gotta pay bills. I gotta find Savannah some health insurance. I have to go to, to the doctor. But not grooming today. My hands feel lots better. So that's nice. Alright guys. I hope you have a happy scrappy week and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh! Should I save this for tomorrow? I think I will. I'll save it. All right. Bye.